Another example of antihelmintics are the anti-nematodal drugs. What are anti-nematodal drugs? We all know that antihelmintics are some of the most widely used drugs in veterinary medicine. Anti-nematodal drugs are antihelmintics that are effective to nematodes or most commonly known as roundworms, a type of parasitic worm. The first example of anti-nematodal drugs are the simple heterocyclic compounds. Number one is the piperazine and its derivatives. Piperazine and its derivatives, chemically it is diethyl dinadiamine. It easily absorbs water and carbon dioxide, hence must be kept in closed container and protected from sunlight. Piperazine salts such as piperazine adipine, citrate, phosphate, sulfate, tartrate, and hydrochloride are more stable, hence Piperazine and its derivatives and its efficacy. Piperazine and its derivatives has good efficacy against. Piperazine and its derivatives has good efficacy against ascarid and nodular worm infections of all species of domestic animals, which means it has 100% efficacy. It has moderate efficacy for pinworm infection and has variable effects on other worms like hookworm and strong ales, but has no effect on whipworm, tapeworm, and flukes. Its mode of action Number one is the anticholinergic action at the myoneural junction in worms, producing a competitive or non-competitive depolarizing type of neuromuscular blockade like query. Second is a blockade of succinic acid production by worms. And the third is the reversible inhibition of neuromuscular transmission in the worm by acting like a GAB, GABA, GABA, the inhibitory neurotransmitter on the GABA beta chloride channels in the nematode muscle. The worm suffers flaccid paralysis, loss of motility, and voided in feces by peristaltic movement of intestine. It is administered orally in feed as adipate or citrate salts or in drinking water over two days period. How toxic are the piperazine and its derivatives? It has low toxicity but sometimes near toxicity and emesis occur in small animals at higher doses. It is safe in pregnancy and gastroenteritis. Another example of a simple heterocyclic compound is the phenothiazine. Phenothiazine has wide activity against GI nematodes, nodular worms of ruminants, and swine, hookworm, and small intestinal nematodes. It is used in continuous low-level feeding program for ruminants and for formulation of mixture with other drugs for broader spectrum. Phenothiazine is, has excellent efficacy against raw miles, but has no action against flukes and tapeworms. It is also not effective against larval or immature adult worms of any parasite except hemorrhage. What are the mode of action of phenothiazine? Phenothiazine may act due by affecting egg production and hence reproduction and it is used as drenched once in a month. How toxic is the phenothiazine? Sheep, goat, and birds are most resistant to this drug. Cattle and swine are more susceptible, and horse is the most susceptible. Photosensitization is a side effect that may accompany phenothiazine administration in ruminants, especially in calves and bulls, when animals are subsequently exposed to direct sunlight. Contraindicated in pregnancy, which means it interferes with consumption or embryonic development. What are the disadvantages of phenothiazine? First is the pink discoloration of milk due to presence of drug metabolite, which is harmless, does not allow its commercial use for human consumption for 98 hours. Second is the red coloring of urine, causes permanent discoloration of hairs and wool of animals, resulting in economic losses, especially to sheep farmers. Second example of anti-nematodal drug is the benzimendazole. Benzimidazole has broad spectrum high degree efficacy and has good margin of safety with versatility of administration. Imidazoles possess antibacterial, antihelmintic, antiprotozoal, and antifungal action. Fun fact is the first benzimidazole is called thiobenzazole or TBC. The mode of action of benzimidazoles. First is it interferes with energy generating metabolism. All except mebendazole and flubendazole inhibit fumarate reductase system. Mabendazole and flubendazole inhibit glucose transport, bind to free beta tubuline, inhibiting its polymerization and thus interfere with microtubule dependent glucose uptake. Cambendazole and fenbendazole inhibit fumarate reductase and also inhibit glucose uptake mechanisms. Thiobendazole also inhibits egg production of helminths by inhibiting protein synthesis. 
Another mode of action is etiobentazole, rapidly absorbed and eliminated within 48 hours. Its 0 times 002 a day withdrawal period ensures its popularity with farmers. It may also be given in lactating cows. Other examples of benzimidazoles are the albendazole, combendazole, benbendazole, arbendazole, albendazole, ebendazole, oxbendazole, oxybendazole, luxabendazole, and triclobendazole. These examples are formulated as suspension for oral administration in horses and ruminants. It may also be available as tablets, pastes, pellets, and premixes for avian and pigs. They are indicated for either treatment or control of strongmills, roundworms, kingworms, lungworms, and gastrointestinal nematodes. Some of them are embryotoxic and teratogenic. Benzimidazole prodrugs. What are benzimidazole prodrugs? These compounds are metabolized in vivo to produce benzimidazoles and need to be administered at high dose enough to produce efficient active metabolites. Its mode of action, pharmacokinetic spectrum, is similar to benzimidazoles. Examples of these drugs are the fabental, a precursor of bendazole, and it is effective against gastrointestinal nematodes. Another is the netovimin, a prodrug of albendazole. It is effective against gastrointestinal nematodes, their larvae, tapeworms, and flukes. It is also teratogenic. The third is the thiopinine. It produces metabolite labendazole. It is active against most nematodes of farm animals. The third example of an anti nematodal drug is the imidazole thiazoles. Number one is the butamizole hydrochloride. It is an injectable antihelminthic used in dogs to treat whipworm and hookworm infections. It has low margin of safety. Toxic symptoms include vomiting, ataxia, recumbency, and convulsion. It is contraindicated in severity disease and debilitated animals such as animals with hepatic and renal disorders and in heartworm positive dogs as it may cause fatality, though the reason is unknown. The second is the tetramisole and levamisole. Levamisole was developed from tetramisole. It is effective against almost all gastrointestinal nematodes, lungworm and hookworms in ruminants, canine, horse, pig, and chicken. In poultry, it is effective against Capillaria obstignata, Ascaridia galli, and H. gallinarium. Tetramisole and Devamisole has no activity against flukes, tapeworms, and protozoa. The mode of action. Cholinergic agonists. Affect neuromuscular junction, nicotine-like action, stimulating and subsequently blocking the neuromuscular junction. It interferes with carbohydrate metabolism by inhibiting fumarate reductase enzyme system. Levamisole enhances the rate of T-lymphocyte with differentiation and proliferation. Reactivity to antigens and mitogens and activity of effector lymphocytes, therefore modulating host immunity through cell-mediated immunity. It is highly useful in immunocompromised animals. The fourth example of an anti-nematodal drug is the tetrahydropyramidins. Number one is Pyrantel. Pyrantel is an imitiazole derivative used as tartrate or palmoate salt. It is a broad-spectrum drug that is effective against gastrointestinal parasites of sheep, cattle, swine, horse, and dogs. The mode of action. It is similar to levamisole by acting as cholinergic agonist. It is used as drenched in ruminants by stomach tube in horses, and in swine it is given in feeds and as tablets in dogs. The second is morantel. Morantel is methyl ester of pyrantel. Primarily, morantel tartrate but also the fumarate salt is used. These salts of morantel have greater anthelmintic property than pyrantel. Morantel tartrate is safer than pyrantel tartrate. The fifth example of anti nematodal drug are the organophosphorus compounds. Originally, these compounds were developed as systemic insecticides but they have some anthelmintic properties also. Their safety is poor in farm animals. Its mode of action. Number one is the inhibition of ACHE enzyme leading to an interference of neuromuscular transmission and consequently paralysis of parasite. Number two is the ACHE of host and parasite on, of different species of parasites vary in susceptibility of organophosphorus compounds. Third is the degree of safety of organophosphorus compounds for the host is, rel is related to lack of susceptibility of host ACHE to the drug. Examples of organophosphorus compounds 
The sixth example of the anti nematodal drugs, macrocyclic lactones, avermactin and mildemycins. Number one is the avermactins. This group of chemically related antihelmintics produced by the fermentation of Acinomyces streptomyces avermatilis. Avermactins has eight different compounds, and each of these components have antihelmintic activity. The second is the ivermectins. It is a very potent nematocyte and ectoparasiticide or endectocide by oral and parenteral route. It is effective against all stages of parasitic gastrointestinal nematodes and lungworm including canine heartworm larvae. It is also a potent ectoparasiticide and effective against warbles, lice, and mites. The dung of ivermectin-treated animals do not decompose, that's why they are an ecological threat. The mode of action. Potentiation of the GABA leads to hyperpolarization of postsynaptic cells and consequent muscular paralysis. Mammalian GABA receptors has low affinity and avermectin has inability to cross blood-brain barrier. Hence, it is not toxic to men. It is readily absorbed, especially when given parenterally. High concentration of this drug is sustained in tissues for a long time and residues mainly occur in liver and fat tissues. Ivermectin should not be administered parenterally in horses, and it is toxic in coli breed of dog, which may cause idiosyncratic reaction. Second is the ab abamectin and doramectin. Pharmacological actions and dosages are same as ivermectin. The third is milbimycin. Milbimycin D are active orally against roundworm of dogs and prophylactic against heartworm at higher monthly doses. Mode of action is similar to ivermectin and it causes neurological disorders in coli breed of dogs. Note it is only used in dogs. Milbimycin auxin used as tablet orally in dog at monthly interval for, for prevention of heartworm disease and to treat hookworms. Moxidectin is administered subcutaneously in the cattle and has the same broad spectrum activity against roundworms and ectoparasites as ivermectin. The seventh example of an anti nematodal drugs are drugs acting against heartworm. Drugs used in elimination of adult heartworm. The thiazotarsamide sodium. It is an arsenical compound and only drug used in dog for elimination of adult heartworm. The mode of action is the drug interferes with energy production of the parasite by inhibition of glycolysis. With four therapeutic doses, adult worm dies within five to seven days. Symptoms of arsenic toxicity like persistent vomiting, ectorius or orange colored urine may be seen. In the elimination of heartworm microfilarity, its elimination is essential as it causes glomerular damage and preventative drug diethylcarbamazine is not safe for use in dogs until they are cleared of microfilarity. First is the diethiazine iodine. It is the only drug used as a heartworm microfilarity reside in dogs. Diethiazine iodine is the only drug used as a heartworm microfilarity reside in dogs. Its mode of action is the parasite loose motility, trapped in the capillary bed, and finally, phagocytosed by host cells. It is available as powder or tablet, and it is administered orally just after or during feeding. Second is the diethylcarbamazine citrate. Second is the diethylcarbamazine citrate. The drug also acts against microfilarity, but unfortunately, fatal shock type of reaction occurs if the drug is given to microfilarity positive dogs. Its mode of action is it optionizes microfilarial membranes so that they are readily phagocytosed by tissue-fixed monocytes, but not by circulating phagocytes. It also affects the nervous system of parasites and causes paralysis of the worm. It is rapidly absorbed from the GIT and rapidly metabolized and excreted, hence it has low toxicity. The last type of anti nematodal drugs are the miscellaneous anti nematodal drugs. Examples of miscellaneous anti nematodal drugs. The N-butyl chloride is used in the control of ascarid and hookworm infections. The toluene is an anthelmintic against ascarid of hookworm. The tetrachloroethylene is used mainly against hookworm and against gastrointestinal nematodes. The mefenium hydroxynaptoate is most effective against mature hookworm and also in the gastrointestinal parasites. The tenium clausylate is particularly effective against mature and immature hookworms. The disophenol or ansylol is an injectable anti hookworm compound used in dogs and cats. And the hygromycin P is, an, is a highly effective against ASAM and also 
Hygromycin B has no adverse effects in egg, egg production at recommended dose level. Continuous feeding of the antibiotic over 10 months may cause hearing loss and cataract in swine. It is highly effective against numerous types of parasites in chickens.